Hi guys! You guys have been requesting for more miniature gardens, so today we're making this Mediterranean inspired garden scene. I've been working on this project alongside my other video stuff for about two weeks, so if you notice any magical nail polish changes, that's why. The base for this project is simply going to be the lid of a shoebox. Make a stencil for the shape you want your fountain to be, then trace it onto the top. Cut it out as carefully as you can. Next you want to cut two squares of cardboard a bit bigger than the fountain and use a hot glue gun to stack them. Cut small squares and glue them onto the corners for support. Then cut a strip of some thick paper and start curving it to fit the shape of the fountain, then glue it in place. Try and really seal everything with the hot glue since we need it to hold resin later. Then glue the whole thing in place underneath the base. Then go around the top seam with hot glue using a tool to smooth it out. Then fold a little cardstock box to go in the middle. Next we're gonna make some polymer clay tiles. Roll out some clay in your desired color and then start cutting small squares. I made this small stencil to make it easier. Once you've cut out all your little tiles, then bake them completely according to package instructions. I also made blue and gold ones. Start gluing tiles to the middle square. Once you've covered the whole thing, mix a spoonful of plaster with a bit of Mod Podge into a very soft paste-like consistency and then smear this all over and dry away the excess. This just closes up all the little gaps. Once that's all done, then you add tiles to the inside of the fountain. Add the plaster mix to the inside of the fountain as well. Then include the center piece in the middle and also fill the crack around that. Then 
Then cover all the tiles in two coats of Mod Podge. This is again to make sure it can hold the resin. I made the top piece for the fountain using gold colored female clay. I pre-baked the components along the way and used liquid clay to stick them together. I also cut out four bigger tiles to go in the top corners. Bake the pieces completely before adding some brown acrylic paint to the center piece. Then seal it with glaze and glue it in place. Then I cut some thin strips of kitchen film and glued these on to look like little streams of water. Then mix your resin, I'm using solid water and add this to the fountain. To start with, the resin will be very thin and liquidy and kind of run off the film. So in that case, just wait a while until it gets like thick and goopy and then add it then. Once the resin had set, this is what mine looked like. Then start adding tiles to the top part. For the rest of the surface, I cut out some bigger tiles and brushed on a few shades of Proc Pastel. After baking, I glued them on in a pattern like this. Fill out the cracks with the plaster mixture like before. Now we're going to make the back wall by gluing cardboard together. Also fill in any crevices with hot glue. Mix some white acrylic paint and plaster together to a paste-like consistency and spread this all over the wall. Decorate the top edge with some more of the small tiles. Glue the back wall in place. I made a simple little bench with some stirring sticks and glue.
to decorate this scene, you can look at my previous tutorial on how to make potted plants. You can also buy the smallest pots you can find. You can also make cheap miniature bowls from eBay into pots by painting them with acrylic paint and sealing them with glaze. I also used a wooden miniature tray to hold some plants. For the different plants, I used a variety of moss, flower soft, and fake plants. To make a small tree, I found a twig outside and put it in the pot surrounded by some tinfoil to keep it in place. Then I glued on black sand for the soil and a bit of dried moss for the treetop. A simple way to make flowers is to glue some flower soft onto wire. I recycled the fake flowers by cutting them into small petals and gluing them onto wire. Then glue some dried moss to the top of the wall. And now we're ready to put together our scene. I left one bowl empty and filled it with water for a bird bath. And then a little Mediterranean inspired garden is done. You can customize a project like this however you like. I was inspired by some pictures and so on Pinterest. Thank you guys so much for watching, hit the like button if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in a new one real soon, bye!